Hello and welcome back to Idol Kingdom Defense. So today we are on stage 15385 as usual. And again, I'm not pushing until I need it for something. I did get a question about in that comments, when is the next time you're going to push? And it's really n not something I'm looking forward to do, mostly because it's just going to make King's Ruin take longer. In some respects, I regret pushing when I did. Not entirely, but because even the Mythic 3 gear, getting the Mythic 3 gear to drop didn't make me strong enough to overcome the additional levels when it comes to, you know, how much longer King's Ruin is. You know, for example, I thought I had got it down, and I'll have to check. Uh, I thought I got the, the Sky Castle down to where it was like a 15-minute ordeal. And now we're back up to, it's about 30 minutes now with the Wild Castle where we're at. But still, it's on the longer side, and I would prefer it not to be. That said, let's go ahead and get renovating, because we need this Wild Castle 3. And we started at 69, the magic number. And... We end up at 74, so we got five tiles today, 16 to go. If we can keep that level of luck going, we will get this in about four days. Realistically, we're not going to keep that level of luck. We're going to get unluckier and unluckier. But we're, we're looking at being very close to finishing this, and then we will finally have the extra warrior slot. Excuse me. And I already did portal, but let's take care of the dragon. So once again, like, how are you doing today in Idle Kingdom Defense? I'm very curious where you are. Uh, like, what stage are you on? How far are you planning to push? Because again, like, I didn't see like it, I didn't see the advantage of pushing past thirteen three hundred until they added the the Mythic three gear drop. That basically makes your you know your gear seals obsolete. You know, that's why I've just been hoarding my gear seals because what am I going to spend them on? You know, if I can get Mythic, I mean. Yes, you can get it. You can get up to Mythic Three from the Gear Seals, but it's a worse drop rate than the stage farming, I believe. So, <clears throat> I mean, it's interesting. It, it's an interesting mechanic, but at the end of the day, you know, one thing's better than the other. Honestly, at this point, I don't think they could. There's any reason to use Gear Seals at all. It would depend entirely on what they end up releasing. Honestly, I imagine at a new tier at this point, they would only let us let up to Mythic Five drop, and then we could we could gamble for up to whatever the new tier is, three star. So with that in mind, oh wow, today's kind of a dry day. You know, I mean that's what I would that's what I'm basically saving my gear seals for. I, you know, I finally figured out what they could call the next tier. It could be divine, and the divine tier of gear. <laughs> Uh, basically, which, again, I, I don't know if we're ever going to get another tier of gear. I don't know these things, but I think about what they could be called. Regardless, the, the divine tier of gear, assuming that's higher than this, is... Would be, you know, you'd get up to five-star mythic to drop, and then you'd have to roll the dice with the gear seals to get more than that. Have I just... We just have not had any luck today with this dragon. And I didn't even need to do that. Oh, here's some shining scrolls. So, <clears throat> and we don't even get the shining scrolls. Very, very greedy dragon today. But that's about you know. And again, like I said, I kind of regret. Like, I don't regret regret, but I do miss. I guess regret isn't really the right word. I just miss how much quicker King's Ruin was, and I can only imagine how much quicker it would be with the Wild Castle too. Because that was only, it was that quick with um, just the Sky Castle 3. I have heard that archers are doing less and less damage. I checked on the Discord, that kind of makes sense. With the advent of basically the uh, rings and stuff we're getting, they're going to fall off. There's nothing to keep the archers up once you start artifacting the heroes that matter. And again, like, like Christian... He isn't even... He, we've just been ruining him, and he has, like, gone off the charts. 
honestly, I can't wait to kind of do that for Austin. And whoops. And as you can see, we have cleaned up and the weekly is completely done. And we have 150 is the max for the weekly. So we've done everything in here. And in terms of the daily quest, we only have to start upgrading our heroes. But yeah, I mean, just disappointing. Now, I have done Total War, and again, I'm shifting to the rings for now. Partly because, like, for what I've done with the Viking chick, I was not in, I've was not i not been impressed with her damage for how much I feel like I've invested in her. Granted, a lot of it has been re-rolling because getting something with a good set of mods has been, uh, to put it mildly, a nightmare. Uh, I was hoping it would be a little bit easier. I, oh, there's Thor. Honestly, oh, oh there's Lucas. Upon reflection, I feel like they have made the good value. I don't think like it's a 1 in 14 chance. I feel like if it's a 1 in 14 chance, either I'm unlucky when it, call, when it comes to the rune, the rune and artifact system. I'm sorry, I mean the artifact system. Or they weighted the good ones to have a lower chance. Again, I don't really like this. I feel like... Uh, I feel like they really should let us uh, re-roll the Awakenings. Uh, I feel like, though, they'll never let us do that. And, like, the reason I said is because it's supposed to be super, super grindy. That said, like, like I, the other thing I added is the Awakenings don't really add as much as you think they do, unfortunately. And, yes, I say unfortunately because for all the effort, you're going to you're get most of it from the ring, it's, the ring or the necklace itself. It's not even close. It's, it's basically why there's no point. Like if, like, if Awakenings were good, if Awakenings were better than just leveling the item, you would want to have a good book. I don't want to have a good book because they're not that much better. Now, I have done Total War, and whoops, that's not where I wanted to click. So, I did make a mistake with Total War. Um, because of habit, I had been focusing on, oh, which one was it? The Fire... The fire fields? It's not the fire fields. It's the fire temple? I know it's the lightning hall. I don't remember what the fire one. Fire fortress. And so I did a couple sweeps in there. So I don't know how many necklaces we got out of that, but we got like a few before I realized, oh, we're switching over to the lightning hall. You know, old habits die hard. That's sort of the problem. And again, we're only going to switch over to the lightning hall until we get... Uh, I want to get a at least a... Two star uncommon ring for Christian and for Sophia. I th we have a good chance of getting a good ring for Sophia, believe it or not. I was kind of surprised at our luck so far. <laughs> okay, where are we at? Yep, we've done everything, but we need to purchase. Oh, we purchased. Okay. So, renovated Total War, did the fountain and astrology, and purchased Archer Gear. I really wish they had some tracking for that. Oh, I made a mistake. It's okay. It's a fixable mistake. We can fix this real easily. I'm also glad that I don't have to swap gear anymore. That That is a nice feature, too. And I don't mean, like, I somehow fixed the gear swap mechanic. No. I mean that uh, I have enough gear where these guys just sit with their three-star mythic gear, and that's good enough. Now, I did get an interesting comment about replacing Julian. I could replace Julian with Vincent. I might actually do that. Julian has more of an aggro range, which is nice. But, I mean, honestly, if I could keep Vincent in, that, that means, you know, that means eventually Roderick and Vincent, two of the characters I use for my farm team, will just be part of the main team. And that, you know, reduces the redundancy of leveling different heroes. So, to, we're going to do an experiment. And we're going to switch over to Vincent and see how he does. Of course, we're, first we're going to get Vincent to 7,000. Because it's not really fair to compare a 7,000 Julian to a 7,000. A 6,300. Let's see, what's the, what are their attacks? Oh. You know, I could run them head to head. Who would I replace, though? Thor? Nah, Thor's doing pretty good. No, not gonna replace her. No, I, I mean, I'd have to. Re I'd have to replace. We'll wait until Vincent gets up to seven uh, k, because it might be worth it to replace Vincent at this point. Well, 
It might be worth it to replace Julian with Vincent at this point. Now, Julian does have an advantage. He has a really wide aggro radius, which is good in specific conditions. So I don't, I'm not going to regret leveling up to 7,000. He'd be great in... Um, he's great in, like, Total War. Mostly because he... Because the thing is, if my warriors can aggro everything, even if I kill things really slow, as long as my warriors don't die, I can hold things off. And I can even swap... Camila for um, I actually should swap her for Harold and we're gonna try that next time when we get to when we push again but but uh, actually I'll do that offline but I could swap Marion I could swap somebody for Asia and as long as Asia can keep them pumped full of heals that's all we need you know then we can last through the berserk because yeah they have they have 99% you know dodge so I mean it's much easier for them to live in the castle which has 0% dodge that said, it is rune time, and I think it's Sophia's... I think we're still doing... Some, that's not runes. Now, I will have something to talk about. Okay, we're on four-star. Yeah. Four-star runes, and we can summon as much as we want, because we're going to just switch to Christian after this. So this is all about how lucky will Sophia get so we can move on. Unfortunately, we're just a little short today. Not enough for another... Uh, 10 summons. You know, one of the things I wish is, like, there was a summon max for me. It's just like, summon max, I don't, I don't care, give me, okay, here we go. Uh, come on! Oh. Six out of nine left. Not the, not the 69 I like. So that was, uh, whoops. That was a big letdown. Sophia did not achieve her goal. Sophia, what is going on today? You missed all your runes. You've been a bad hero. All right, let's see. Maybe maybe we'll have... Okay, we get to plus five, plus six. Do we see plus six? Plus seven? Plus eight? Plus no. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I swear, I don't know. Whenever the, I, I, it's bizarre. So this is ridiculous. So Christian and Sophia have gotten this defense penetration rune to plus nine before Sophia can get the crit damage rune to plus nine. That to me is absurd. I mean, don't get me wrong, randomness can be streaky, and some, you know, random is what random does. I get it. I know that this is a random thing, but still, like, that's, ugh. What crappy odds. All right, that said, let's see, it's, it's... So, the interesting thing is, I did have to make some space. So, I made some space by using, by improving this ring. It already has hit points and defense on it. Great for Sophia. So, I figured, you know what, let's just you reuse it, see... Oh, I, apparently I need to dismantle. Okay, we're, this is probably not going to be a great day. <clears throat> yeah, this is what happens when you get one that's kind of high. It costs a lot. But yeah, I fed this today just to, just to get it out of the way. Or j not to get it out of the way, but to make space. But now we're going to see if we get lucky. Nope. Damn it. Ugh. But with these two, I will be having this in concern. You know, is this actually better than Sophia's ring right now? 7.2 in defense. Can we awaken this? Oh. All right, what are those three stars? Oh, I, I upgraded this one. So we're going to awaken. Oh, you know what? We'll save that one. Let's, let's wake this one up. See if Sophia maybe has a better ring over here. And survey says? Nope. All right, so this is what I would consider a dud at 7.2% versus this at 8.4. So this is better. So we will be moving on to that ring. This ring over here is far from useless. We'll toss it onto somebody. I'm sure somebody can use it. Oh, Camila has one that can be woken up. I think these two are Sophie rings. Yeah, but I mean, the fact that hers isn't even a, isn't even woke up. We need to wake that up. Defense. Okay, we make another another potential Sophia ring. 
Oh, I need to I need to filter because we don't need to see I'm working on rings. Austin has a terrible crit chance ring. We can easily Oh, that's such a dilemma. 7.2 Oh, we got two of them. And then C Camila is up there. So. Oh, you know, we're we're going we'll go over this one and we're done because I got these two potential Sophia rings that are identical that I don't know what to do with. I got this. Oh, it has attack on it. No. Oh, yep. Oh, I happen to get enough of these. Okay, well, let's see if it goes to accuracy. Interesting. Well, that at least frees up some extra space. We'll put it that way. So maybe my accident, it wasn't the worst accident that could happen. How about that? And that's trash. I do wish you could lock rings here. Very dangerous. Defense, also trash. I'm going to have to go through everybody after we finish Awakening. How about that? Accuracy, also trash. Now, accuracy may become useful, but again, I'm not, I don't think it is because of just how much accuracy we get from weapons. Wish I could lock. Defense mode, that's 100% useless. Better off getting runes for that. You'll get plenty of runes for that, I'll tell you. I know that you get plenty of runes for this. If anybody knows, I know. Okay, we have we have a live one. Has attack on it. This is actually could be an actual DPS ring in the making here. Oh, this is gonna exhaust me from a book standpoint. And survey says Yeah, damn it. And really, honestly, at this point, I just want attack percent, because I don't even think flat attack is really even worth it. I think the only one is, um, honestly, is flat atta uh, is attack percent. I mean, flat attack is nice, but trying, I, I feel like just, just trying to get a trifecta like that, and then, of course, crit damage being the other aspect, is I think I would be, at this point, if I could just get an attack percent one for each one of them, I think that would make me happy. Ooh, that's a messy one. We'll do it. And this is the last ring. Oh, shoot. Uh, Alright, we're going to have to sacrifice this book, I guess. That's not good. Oh, well. Do, do, do. Okay, so we have three. We have some decent leftover rings here. We have a, a three, two, three star. Alright, well, you know, you can just have this three star ring. It's going to be better than your two star ring. And it's trash, and that's trash. Okay, this is an unpromoted three-star ring. We'll leave that there. This is an unpromoted two-star ring. We don't have enough. We don't have enough, but you know what? Let's give him this crappy ring instead. Same thing with you. This time we have two unpromoted three-star... Okay, this is going to be a mess.
Apparently, I am full of these unpromoted rings, and I didn't realize it. Who is our? Who are our top DPS? Christian, of course, is number one. That's five point four percent. Brooklyn eight. You definitely need to unequip that. Two, six, three, four, eight, four, two, four, two. Is is anybody else even in? Out? Who is? Uh, Christian. Marion, Camila, Evan, and Austin. So it's only five people in contention. Of course, Sophia needs a good ring too, but Sophia has her special ring now. Yes. Okay. Well, damn. What a mess it is sorting this out. Let's switch back to this. I think I got everybody situated. So Christian should have the best ring now. At seven two. Outside of Sophia. Sophia like she's a, yes, I know she has an eight four, but that's not the and then you have a six three. Four two. Four eight. Okay, four two. I think that's as good as we're gonna get. This is this is such a nightmare. Okay, so now that we took care of that, there's only one thing left to do, which is collect this. And, of course, level up the castle. Slowly getting there. And now, 63,485, almost halfway to 64,000, and over 9.5 million health. So, once again, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to support the channel. If you have any questions feel free to say something in the comments i do always look forward to your questions and as always thank you again and i hope you have a great day